Today I've got with me one of the comfiest fishing chairs I think I've ever sat on. It's so comfortable in fact, Solar have called it the sofa chair. So today we're going to look at the five things you need to know about this chair. And yes, I know I look tiny in it, so forget the short jokes, it's a big chair, all right? Just, just cue the montage. So I've put this through extensive testing whilst I've been drinking coffee preparing for this video, and it really is one of them chairs that it doesn't matter how you sit on it, it's still comfortable. You can sit on it like a normal seat, you can perch on the edge, you can have your feet over the edge, you can have your feet up, it really doesn't matter, you're still comfortable. You can't feel any of the frame because of the material and the, the padding that's been used, but we'll come on to that a little bit later. But it really is something that you can just relax on, which I guess is where it gets its name of the sofa chair from. So the way this chair is designed is that it's almost like a, a cup shape, and then that cup sits on top of the frame. So then when you sit in the chair, it almost envelops you. I think that's a word. So you basically sit into the chair and then you end up lower than the arms. So what that does is that prevents any uh, cold drafts coming across you, coming across your back or anything like that. And as you can see, with the height of the back of it, it means that you're not getting any drafts coming across your neck or your head or anything like that as well. So it actually keeps you warmer <laughs> and it acts as a bit of a wind barrier. But it's not only comfort and warmth this chair has to offer, it looks apart as well, and Solar have designed a new camo. Yes, that's right, Solar have created a new camo pattern, and it is very nice. It's only quite subtle on this chair, which is a nice thing because camo can quite easily be over the top. But this is the new SP SeaTech Solar Cam. Bit of a mouthful, but I'm sure uh, once you get used to it, it will roll off the tongue. But this has been in development for months. There's been loads of research done to this, loads of testing, and the feedback that Solar have been having is very positive from both anglers and dealers. And it is very nice. It is a very subtle camo, which I definitely prefer. Apparently it still has all the same shape-shifting features of every other camo, but it's just, it's a new design that Solar have brought out, which I'm guessing will probably run through all their new luggage and things like that as it comes out over time because they've put a lot of work into this one and they class it as the Louis Vuittons of camo. Now, as you'd expect with any solar product, the build quality is very, very high. And that is on both the material and the framework as well. But sticking with the material for now, this is using Solar's famous 3D Durador material, which if you guys don't know about it, it's been used on their bed chairs for years and it's now being brought into their range of chairs as well. So it's a really hard wearing material and it's one of them ones that you've really got to feel in the flesh to, to realize quite how tough it actually is. But it's not just about the toughness of the material, it's also about how the chair ventilates when you're sitting on it. And basically the 3D Durador material is very hard wearing, but also very breathable. So on a hot day like today, you can sit here quite comfortably and not end up with a sweaty back or anything like that. Now it's also worth mentioning that the 3D material that Solar produce is actually of a higher level than the 3D of most manufacturers. So in Solar's terms, other manufacturers classing their products as 3D is actually what Solar would class as 2D. So then when Solar class something as 3D, it really is that step above. So the other thing you get with Solar is all the little extras on top. So the front and rear legs actually clip into place. So you've got no chance of them buckling underneath you when you sit down, which has happened so many times to me. All the legs have got Solar's famous spring lock system. So every single leg is adjustable and they've all got swivel mud feet at the bottom of them as well. When you actually fold the chair up, there's a little buckle to keep the legs in place. So they're not gonna open out when you carry it. And then there's also Velcro straps when you fold down the back of the chair. So everything stays in that nice fin package. So the final thing to talk about is the size and weight of this. Now, obviously it looks a very big chair, especially with me sitting in it. I know we've done that, but it is one of them products that when you pick it up, you think it's gonna be a lot heavier. Now this comes in at 5.9 kilos, which I think for the size of it, isn't actually too bad. The actual size varies because of the legs extending. So the base height of this is 91 centimeters, but then it can actually raise up to 101 centimeters. So you've got 10 centimeters of play in it, which, I think, yeah, if you're a bit taller than me, you're gonna want it slightly raised because otherwise your knees are gonna be up a bit. But yeah, having that 10 centimeters is more than enough adjustment. And then the actual width of it is 80 centimeters from side to side or 
arm to arm and then from front to back is 80 centimeters as well so it is quite a big unit but it does actually pack down completely flat so that is a big big selling point i think anyway let me know in the comments what you think about this chair is it too big i don't think it is i don't think it is it's very comfortable and i think sometimes when you want a bit more comfort you've got to have something a little bit bulkier i think the fact that it actually packs flat as well is a massive massive edge but let me know what you think and uh, if you want more information head over to the solar tackle website where there's going to be even more stats that i haven't listed during this video but thanks for watching subscribe if you like this video like it as well because it really does help help us out and uh, i will see you in the next one